When two lines meet, such as line VQX and line WQT, four angles are created. Angle WQV, angle VQT, angle TQX, and angle XQW. Also two sets of vertical angles are made. Vertical angles are angles that are opposite each other when two lines cross, and vertical angles have the same measurement. In this diagram, angle VQT and angle XQW are vertical angles, and angle WQV and angle TQX are also vertical angles. We often put this little arc with a tick mark to signify that the angles have the same measurement, and we could use an arc with two tick marks to signify that the other set of angles have the same measurement as one another. If we know the measurement of one of the angles, then we can find the measurement of all three of the other angles. If we're given that angle WQV equals 50 degrees, because vertical angles or opposite angles have equal measurements, then angle TQX will also equal 50 degrees. We also know that a straight line is a straight angle that has a measurement of 180 degrees. So the line XQV or angle XQV is 180 degrees. With this, we know that angle WQV plus angle XQW equal 180 degrees. So angle XQW will equal 180 degrees minus angle WQV, which is 50 degrees. 180 degrees minus 50 degrees equals 130 degrees. So angle XQW equals 130 degrees. And lastly, since angle XQW and angle VQT are equal, angle VQT also equals 130 degrees. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.